we're making quarter pound giant string cheese sticks. Yeah, and I'm making a tiny one. Yep. <laughs> And but there's no milk in. Not yet. We better get some. Yeah. I was eating a lot of crumbly cheese. Two of them. But it was yummy. And we had some strawberries in our garden. But Daddy painted a, a garden with our house. Ten. And my daddy is awesome. I was talking about when you were painting a picture of a garden. Ooh, yeah. I'll have to show them that. Okay. Yeah. I brought out two gallons of milk from the fridge. Sweet girl. Mm. <laughs> okay, let's pour in the milk. Okay. Can I kneel on the thingy to see all of the cheese? Yeah, you can kneel on it. Do you need me to move it closer? Okay. Oh, look at all that cream. Ooh, yummy. Yummy. Let's <laughs> pour it in. Okay. We're getting some more bubbles. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Will it make some more bubbles? Yep, a little bit. <laughs> okay, I've got two gallons of milk put into the pot, and Banjo is. Eating all the bubbles off. <laughs> okay, so what do we do next? Mm, stir the bubbles. <laughs> do I have to heat it up? Yep. Okay, this one here. Oh, woo wee. All right, it's on high. That means we have to stir it a lot on the bottom so that it doesn't burn on the bottom. <laughs> Okay, stir it. It's not hot. Not yet. It'll take a, about mm, maybe 10 minutes. Is it getting hot? Still cold. Okay, let's keep on stirring then. Stirring, stirring my fruit. <laughs> <laughs> I like that song. Yeah. Bubble, bubble, turn it to bubble. Some, uh, what is the part? Humpty Dumpty just woke up. That is the song. Is that a cheese making song? I made it up for cheese. Oh! <laughs> mozzarella cheese. We are making mozzarella cheese, right Daddy? Yep, we are. It's taking too long. We it's are get, getting warm, but not quite there. There are a lot of mozzarella recipes that I've seen that use rennet, and there are a lot that do not. They just use acid. Today we are just using acid. I have used rennet before. It works just fine without spending the extra money to, to make to add rennet for this particular one. Oh yeah. I think Emmy is awake. I think so too. I can hear little footsteps. Oh yeah. It's warm. It's warm, but it's not and quite it's, hot enough. It's I'm putting my hand in. Are you? And you're not getting burned, huh? Is it pretty warm though? Yeah. Like a nice warm bath or something? <laughs> milk bath. <laughs> Chocolate milk bath. Ooh. Ooh. So the target temperature that we're going for is actually, we do it by feel, but it should be cool enough that you can put your hand in there, but hot enough that it starts to get uncomfortable after a few seconds. Yeah, that's getting pretty pretty warm now. Pretty yeah. hot. Almost hot. Ooh, it is hot. Yeah. Okay. Now I've got to turn it off. Yep. Let me do that. All right. Yeah. Now is the fun part. What do we do now, Banch? Um, vinegar. Yeah. What do we do? Um, stir all the vinegar mm -hmm. in the milk. Yeah. And then turn it to a cheese. That's right. Hi. 
Emmy's awake. Hi, sweetie girl. You're gonna make a, make cheese with us? Huh. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready for the vinegar? Yep. All right. Can we've got the. It? Yeah, you can smell it. I can smell it from here. It's a little bit strong, huh? <laughs> okay, so I've pre-measured for banjo, so it's not too heavy. About two cups of, of distilled white vinegar. You can use any kind of vinegar. Sometimes we use more. Yep, I use about about one cup of vinegar per gallon of milk. But if you want the reaction to go faster, and you can pour it all in, sweetie. Really? Yeah. All of it. Mm -hmm. To make it all gone. Yep. <laughs> if you want the reaction to go faster, you can use more vinegar, and it really doesn't matter how much vinegar you use because it'll all come out already. Oh, this is really smushy. Yeah. Do you want to try some? <laughs> she doesn't want it. It's a little bit too vinegary right now. So you can see how quickly it coagulates. And it just takes a couple minutes of this, and all this vinegar will come out with the whey. Oh, wow. Oh. Already it looks like mozzarella, doesn't it? Yep. Do I try some? Let's see. I Stuck to the spoon. Oh, I'm dripping. Dripping away all over the place. <laughs> I think we gotta squeeze it out. Mm, that's exactly right. Next step is to squeeze out the whey so we don't have vinegar in our cheese. It's still a little bit vinegary tasting, huh? You want some? Mm. Who wants to taste it? Yummy? <gasps> Who likes it? <laughs> okay, I'll go get another bowl. Ooh, it's heavy. And it's already a little bit stretchy, but we have to Yay. pull it and stretch it for a few minutes. All right. Now can I squeeze? You can squeeze it. In the bowl? Actually, in the pot. Oh, I know how to um, make mm. cheese. <laughs> you sure do. We make a lot of cheese. A lot of cheese. We make cheese Yay. almost every day, huh? Ooh, that's Put pretty it hot. Put in again, and then you squeeze it out. Yep, we're going to try to squeeze the, the way out of the chunks, but we're still going to leave it in the water a little bit so that it melts. And the more of the way that we get out, the more it's melting stretchy. It's mine. Yeah, it's kind of melting, huh? Melting. You gotta put it in the water, then put it in, and then leave it there, and then you squeeze it out again, and then you put it in the bowl. Yep. It's, it's kind of fun to play with, huh? Emmy is just eating, and I'm just squeezing. It's getting a lot of drips. Yeah. Is it starting to get stretchy yet? Nope. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. It didn't turn to a string. That means we have to heat up the way again yep. and get it even hotter and it might be a little bit too hot for you it's really hot yeah okay it's on so we're kneading this kind of like bread dough huh a little bit <laughs> it is like it <laughs> oh it's getting really hot oh, yeah. we'll turn it down at least okay it's stringy now it's getting stringy now yep so we're just kneading it getting the way out of the chunks <laughs> I'm getting a bigger one. It's like a dough ball, huh? Yeah. Do I put it back in? Only if you need it to melt more. Oh. Just like when you're making rolls, you kind of stretch it on a surface and get it to... to Make to a ball. You kind of roll it into itself. Yep. So that the other side stretches out a little bit. As I stretch it here, <laughs> it's starting to <laughs> get a little bit tight. My birthday. We don't like to get it too shiny and melty, otherwise it'll be just kind of rubbery. And, but this we way, if we don't leave it in there too long or don't overstretch it, then it will be really moist and yummy. Moist, yeah. Yeah. Yummy and Oh, moist. see? See how stretchy that is now? Yeah. All right. Ooh. Look at that. <laughs> Look at That's what you want. <laughs> and this is best served hot. Oh, I'm gonna turn that off. That is getting too hot to touch. Woo. 
And that's that's the perfect temperature actually. <laughs> Stretchy. Start, starting to stretch. Stretchy. So if we can get this to continually stretch, then we'll essentially be making string cheese. Bow. And it does yeah. string Bow. off in you know the same as you Bow -bow. as the kind that you buy in the store. Just keep it nice and hot so it keeps on melting and slowly stretch it. The thinner it gets, Mommy. the easier it is to keep it hot because it Mommy thinks that his hair melts quicker. Look at that. <gasps> Stretchy teeth. Just stretching it really carefully and trying not to <laughs> break it. Not trying to break it, yeah, exactly. Hold it back on itself again. For those of you who buy cheese sticks for your kids, you know that it adds up. <laughs> but now you know how to make your own string cheese sticks. This is about the size of maybe eight cheese sticks at once. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Nice, tight. Grain. Look at that. I can twist it pretty heavily and have it not break. That's perfect. Wow. Awesome. Okay, so we'll make that one be one great big giant string cheese stick. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Should we make the other ones into string cheese? Yeah. So Maybe we could like break that in half because I want some of the little oh, yeah. round ones. Okay. But it's good. It doesn't even have salt in it yet. Yeah. Dad, I'm stretching mm. it. It's kind of like a sweet cheese. And so we, we never throw out the whey. I mean, it would never ever go down the drain. You can use it to cook with. You can use it in place in place of water or milk in just about any recipe. Or you can just feed it to your animals. It's very good for them. Okay, here's our second giant. This is like a quarter pound. Oh, that looks like some warm. Cheese stick. It's awesome. That's like a 16 pack of string cheese. Right there. We've got like four or five of those. We made that a size. big string cheese. This is fun. Angel, you're a good cheese maker. This is like the most fun we've had making cheese in a long time. Oh, this is breaking. <laughs> Keep on stretching it. Stretch it very slowly. Good job. Okay, now stick it back in the in the way. Let it stay there for like a few seconds. Ten seconds? Sure. And then I press string it. Mm hmm So now stretch it more. Stretch it. Okay, that's perfect. Just like that. It's almost as far as you can reach now. That's a big string cheese. So there's a giant one. And it's it's cooled off. And here's this one. That is wow. quite giant. Yep. That will touch the ground. Mm-hmm. Thanks for joining us today. See you next time. Bye. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> 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 Spanjo? Good job. Holy moly, that's awesome. It tastes good. That is so cool. <laughs> Don't let it touch the ground. Oh, that's wow.